This video is part of our Parallels Tag Byte series. In this video, we'll show you how to pre create Parallels RAS client connections for all users on a device. Parallels RAS client connection settings can be set on a user level and, as we'll see in this video, can also be set on a local machine level. This offers a smooth user experience for every user logging on to that device. This is ideal when, for example, working with shared devices. The first step is to create an XML file containing the Parallels RAS connection settings you want to use. To create this file, open up the command prompt and point to the Parallels RAS client installation MSI and add the parameter shared device containing the export keyword followed by a location where to save. The option 1 ensures you capture only the connection settings and not, for example, the credentials. For all other parameter options, consult the Parallels RAS client guide. Now follow the regular client installation steps and make any changes as required. For the purpose of this demo, we'll just apply the default settings. The Parallels RAS client is now being installed. Once this step is complete, a connection properties dialog is shown. Now provide the connection settings you want to capture inside the XML file. In this case, we'll provide a primary connection and set the connection mode to gateway SSL mode to use the secure gateway component over port 443. Note that the options to provide credentials are grayed out here. This is because we specify to only capture the connection settings in the parameter passed to the installer. Again, consult the Parallels RAS client guide for more options. The installation is now finished and an XML file containing the connection settings is now created. To confirm the settings, click Finish to open up the Parallels RAS client. Note that the connection is now pre-configured. Right-click the connection and select Connection Properties. Note that the connection settings are now visible here. Now switching to another client where we want to use the XML file to install the Parallels RAS client with the pre-configured settings. This is the XML file we created in the previous step. Note that it contains the connection details provided during the creation. This XML file can now be passed to any Parallels RAS client installation in various different ways, for example using your favorite application deployment solution. For this demo, we'll use the command prompt to perform a silent installation and configuration of the Parallels RAS client using the XML file. Again, switch to the command prompt and point to the Parallels RAS client installer now providing import as the parameter value and pointing to the location where the XML file is stored. To perform the installation silently, use the forward slash QN option. The installation and configuration of the Parallels RAS client is now complete. Open the Parallels RAS client and note that it is now pre-configured. Open the connection and provide the credentials to log on. The applications and desktops that are assigned to this user are now visible and accessible here. And finally, right-click the connection and select Connection Properties to confirm the connection settings. Any user now logging on to this device will leverage the connection settings and is presented with a pre-configured client and a smooth logon process. This concludes our video on demonstrating how to pre-create Parallels RAS client connections for all users on a device. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels TechBytes series.